So, practically, our reminder is simply remembering to practice when you feel like you've had enough of what you're creating. And remember, what you're really seeking is the fulfillment now, not later. Not okay when everything lines up and I'm doing this and I'm doing more. Okay, if that's what my mind is telling me, let me align and see what would it feel like to be doing all that. Ooh, then I begin to feel and create the vibrations and frequencies I'm after in the now moment. I begin to fully feel that desire and amplify it. We're internally creating and taking back our power, realizing that our ability to create fulfillment is independent of what things look like. We begin to recognize that our true power is higher consciousness, that divine intelligence. We cannot escape the illusion of separation and problems at this level of consciousness that believes in it. You cannot escape it when you believe you are. Separate from your good, you can't escape that belief、right. at this level. That believes it. You must access higher levels of knowing that knows. That's just a belief, and the only way to do that again is coming back into the present, to the now, aligning with the truth, who we are, that presence, that essence. And as we do that, the expansion naturally happens. And we can invite in that higher level of consciousness. It'll happen anyway, but we can actively invite from our perceived lower level and ask those questions. The answer is already there, waiting, seeking, <laughs> and unfolding. We can do it however we want. The point is remembering that practice to take us out of the cycle of lack when we're ready to stop creating that, and then it brings us back into our power, and we can go from there. What then happens? We no longer create out of quote separation or desperation.、Mm-hmm. We begin to create from the higher level of knowing and fulfillment out of inspiration. Right. Right. That inspiration guides us to amplify what we're choosing versus to try to seek some solution to give ourselves what we think we lack. 